start with a slip knot and chain 3 one double crochet in this first chain this will form a ring chain 2 one double crochet cluster in the stitch start off with double crochet but do not finish the stitch one more time three loops on the hook pull through all the loops and chain one that's one cluster stitch made chain two one single crochet in this ring that's one petal made now repeat it chain two one double crochet cluster repeat it until you have four petals the last petal chain 2 and make a slip stitch into this ring chain 6 one double crochet in the third chain from the hook this one and this will form the ring one double crochet cluster three loops pull through all the loops and chain one While making the second pattern, chain 2 and insert your hook in this ring and make a slip stitch on this third stitch as well. This one. That's 1, 2 and 3. Now continue making the petals. The last petal make a slip stitch into this ring. Now continue this until you have six flowers, or else if you wish to make your doily bigger, you can increase the number of these flowers. The second petal chain two and make a slip stitch on this first stitch as well this is how it will look next round slip stitch in each stitch until you reach the top of this petal and while making the last slip stitch change to this other color secure your yarn properly chain 3 one single crochet on top of this next petal repeat this all around chain 3 one single crochet into this next flower chain 3 now repeat it all around Next round, chain 5, one single crochet into this first chain, now repeat it all around, chain 5, one single crochet into this next chain. Once you reach the end, chain 3 and make a double crochet in this first chain. That's the connecting stitch made. Repeat this round two more times. 
chain 5 and one single crochet into this stitch chain 5 Once you reach the end of this round, chain 3 and one double crochet on this first double crochet. Now repeat this round two more times or else if you wish to make a doily bigger, you can repeat it until you reach the size which you need. Start with chain 5 and one single crochet into this next chain. This is how it will look. The last stitch, chain 5 and slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and while making the slip stitch change back to this color. Next round, slip stitch into this chain space, chain 2, this chain 2 it won't be counted as a stitch. Make 5 double crochets in this chain space. Now repeat it all around 5 double crochets in each and every chain space and once you reach the end slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and while making the slip stitch change back to this color. Next round chain 5, skip 2 that's 1 and 2 and then the next stitch make a single crochet. Repeat this all around chain 5, skip 2 and 1 single crochet. Next on chain 5, one single crochet into this next chain space, repeat this all around, chain 5, one single crochet into this next stitch, once you reach the end, chain 3 and one double crochet into this chain space. That's the connecting stitch, same as we did over here. Repeat this round two more times or else you can keep repeating until you reach the size which you need. Chain 5 and one single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 5, one single crochet. And once you reach the end, chain 3 and one double crochet on top of this double crochet. Once you reach the end, chain 5 and slip stitch on top of this first double crochet. And while making the slip stitch, change back to this color. The last round, slip stitch into this chain space. Chain 1, this won't be counted as a stitch. 1 single crochet, 3 double crochets. Chain 3 pico. Three double crochets, one single crochet, repeat this all around, one single crochet, three double crochets, chain three pico, three double crochets. One single crochet. Repeat this all around and once you reach in, slip stitch on top of this first single crochet and weave off your yarn. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.